There's a lot going on in Paradise right now when it comes to rebuilding and recovery after the campfire. Disaster Recovery Director Katie Simmons joins us live with the very latest. Katie, thanks for being with us today. Thanks, Linda. Well, let's start with the building updates. Always look forward to those numbers. Sure. 1,177 building permit applications received, 1,029 building permits issued, and 320 homes rebuilt. I'm, I have some multifamily unit information as well. 246 multifamily units applied for, 194 issued, and 60 rebuilt. That's exciting. I know people have been talking a lot about the need for um, more affordable housing in Paradise. I know all of that will help. Um, also, the state government hazard tree program is moving forward. Yes, it's starting to mobilize this week with some assessments in the field. So the state is out on properties um, with ROEs in place taking a look at those hazardous trees. We'll have more information coming soon on what their uniforms and vehicles look like so everyone can identify them out there. And then um, on the private program, the town did complete uh, courtesy roadside assessments at over 7,000 properties. We were able to clear 3,515, so that's the number of property owners that are totally done. And we sent out email notices to those who still have hazard trees on their properties last week, and we're getting connected with them and encouraging them to enroll in the state program. Uh, I know another um, item that came up before the council and uh, the town's moving forward with an early warning system project. Yes, this was um, brought forward by the community in our long-term recovery planning process as a tier one priority. And so we're really thrilled that we received hazard mitigation grant funding for the planning of this. So what we're doing now is we've um, put out an RFP for companies to come and work with us and help us identify what that project is going to look like. Um, and then once it's installed, we'll have to apply for additional funds for construction. We will have um, an alarm system, essentially a giant alarm system in the town uh, to help with emergency notifications for the community, keeping everyone informed in the case of an emergency. I know it might make all the difference, and, and so that's really encouraging to hear it's moving forward. Uh, finally, I know you're continuing to reach out to people who are living in RVs. Yes, so we're still reaching out, conducting our questionnaires so we can help council understand what the current circumstances are and barriers. We'll be back before council on September 8th with an update on what we're hearing from those living in RVs um, and continuing to talk about that urgency ordinance. All right, terrific news. Thank you so much for being with us. And of course, at makeitparadise.org if you want to see more about what's happening in paradise. Thank you, Katie. Thanks, Linda.